and I think it does look a lot more expensive and a lot more Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel we speak about luxury designer handbags and today I want to show you guys my beautiful YSL Uptown Clutch. Saint Laurent YSL, Saint Laurent Uptown Clutch. <laughs> this clutch has been such a great find for many reasons. <laughs> so first of all I guess you might already know this, but the price for this clutch is unbeatable. <laughs> um, this clutch only cost 300 pound um, and I think 450 US dollar if I'm not mistaken. And I think that is quite a good deal for a leather clutch that you can actually transform into a handbag, but we get into that. So the clutch comes in many different versions. Um, I have the smooth leather one, it's the smooth, beautiful, shiny leather with the brushed gold, antique gold hardware. And yeah, it's just a very simple clutch, but however, it, I think it's very stunning. And I think it's very chic, I mean, black and gold. I mean, people who already started watching my channel, they know that I'm a sucker for black and gold bags. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come with a lot of bells and whistles, it's just very plain at the back, there is no pocket, nothing. Um, the front looks like this, it has a magnetic closure, so you just open it up and boom, it closes back as well. So if you open this up, you can stretch it out quite a bit. One of my friends has the same clutch and she actually puts two of her smartphones in here. I don't want to stretch mine that much, but two smartphones fit in here. If you're not scared of stretching out your back. <laughs> so um, yeah, you have quite a little bit of room. You can definitely fit your phone. This is my phone in comparison to the clutch. So you can definitely fit it in here. You can fit a little small, I have a round brush that I can actually fold up so that fits in here. Lipstick fits in here, your keys, card holder and then you're good to go. It definitely holds a bit for the fact that it's just a clutch and a very thin one as well. Um, but yeah, you can definitely work with it and expand it a little bit. And I want to show you a little trick. So I have a little gold chain. I just got this one from Topshop um, many many years ago was maybe, I don't know, 20 pounds or something like this. But it looks quite intricate. So let me try to focus in on the chain. There it is. So it does look pretty nice. Um, you wouldn't think maybe that it's only a Topshop chain. And especially once you put your chain onto this bag, it looks absolutely fantastic. So what I do is I open up the bag the chain and the magnet actually react, <laughs> but yeah, so I have to be careful to just put the chain underneath the flap and then this is what happens. And voila, you have a beautiful shoulder bag. So what I do, because this chain is pretty long, I could either just wear this bag as a cross body bag. And it does look really nice, I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, you don't have to worry, this leather is, I think, quite durable for the fact that it's smooth calfskin. I mean, if you compare it to, I don't know, the MS box leather um, that scratches up pretty easily, I haven't had any problems with this one so far, so thumbs up for that. Um, yeah, you can use it as a shoulder bag. It does look pretty nice, sorry, as a crossbody bag. <laughs> you can also, of course, use it as a shoulder bag, indeed. So, yeah. Of course, you can decide which chain to use, and that, of course, gives you a little bit more variety when it comes to the length of the strap. And because my strap is actually pretty long, what you can do is you just double it up. I doubled this now. As you can see, the chain is up here, and that just makes it a little tiny, nice shoulder bag. I'm pretty, pretty glad that I do have this little Topshop chain. I mean, how amazing 
is this? So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this bag, especially with the price tag that it came with. And I think it does look a lot more expensive and a lot more, <laughs> a lot more luxurious. So um, yeah, I haven't had any problems with wear and tear. I have been carrying my uptown clutch with a chain and there are no marks or anything underneath the flap where the chain sits. And yeah, overall pretty, pretty happy with this one. I do have one more YSL clutch and these two are my only YSL bags. I do not have a lot of them. I only have these two. However, both of them are categorized as clutches. The other one is this beautiful um, pyramid clutch. Oh, did I just scratch my bag? Nein, what's happening? <laughs> Just scratch my mini Dior as well. Okay, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, this is the other one I have and I can definitely also do a review on this beautiful pyramid clutch. It is in like this light gold metallic leather with the same antique brush gold hardware. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing a review on this one too, maybe also a comparison between those two clutches, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'm going to do that. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, yeah, so if you like this video, please subscribe and support my little back channel here and then I'm gonna be able to provide you with a lot more eye candy <laughs> and a lot more back talk. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I see you guys soon. Bye.